Hello and welcome to the Emerge Leadership Connection, where we connect you with the ideas and concepts to unlock legendary leadership so you can emerge and become who you are meant to be. I'm your host, Cody Dakota, and on this terrific Tuesday, I will be your leadership coach, teacher, and mentor. On today's episode, we will talk about C.S. Lewis's thoughts on dreams, pivots, limiting beliefs, and time. If this is your first time listening to the Emerge Leadership Connection, stop immediately and go back to episode zero. If you want to get the full benefits that this podcast has to offer and emerge into who you were meant to be at a faster pace, then you'll want to go back to that episode to understand the theory behind how each episode is designed to help you improve. Before we start the episode, I'd like to thank our supporters who allow us to continue to bring value to you while also allowing us to support amazing causes that will impact our future generations. If you would like to find out more about the causes we support, as well as how to become a member of our family and help us reach more people in order to impact our future, please go to www.emergeleadership.club, where you can check out all of our episodes, including many supporter-only episodes, as well as get access to other exclusive member-only benefits. Again, that is www.emergeleadership.club to get that access and officially join our family. Now, on to the show. Today's words of wisdom come from C.S. Lewis, who said, You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. Now, as we move through life, there are a lot of different limiting beliefs that we tend to tell ourselves. A very common one that you'll hear is either I'm too old to do that or I'm too young to do that. Um, And these are both limiting beliefs. They're not based in reality. Um, Now, here's the thing. You may not have always the talent or the skills necessary to do what it is you dream. But what C.S. Lewis is getting at here is that even if an old dream becomes no longer accessible or an old dream no longer appears as appealing as you'd like it to be, it doesn't mean that it's the end of the road, that you can't have any sort of an impact in the world that you want to have or that you can't move forward and accomplish something amazing. Um, Some people have accomplished the most in their life in the last year that they lived. It's amazing what you can do in one year's time. The amazing people you can meet, the amazing things you can go do, the amazing places you can go see, this can all be done in a year's time. And you can dramatically change the course of how people remember you in just one year. Um, So it's never... It's never too late to start something. Now, another part of this that I think a lot of people think about when they come up against this limiting belief is that they say they're too old because whatever it is they're looking to pursue has some sort of a a time limit uh, attached to it or a a bodily function uh, limit set to it. And you'll see that a lot in sports. But even if you run across this this time ending, right, where you have a, a pretty harsh cutoff, it doesn't mean that you can't impact that area of life dramatically. Um, if you look at a lot of people who are in sports, um, they they go and have their pro career, and over time, the body doesn't function the way that it used to. But the people who tend to be remembered um, weren't just good at the sport, but they began to do something great within the sphere of their sports career after they were done playing. Just as an example... You have Michael Jordan, who had a phenomenal career playing basketball. And when his basketball career came to an end, he wasn't done. He he had his own shoe line after that. 
which pushed some boundaries for the basketball world. And that's just one example. Now, whatever it is you want to go do, right, the area of the world you want to create an impact in, even if there is some sort of time limit attached to it, it doesn't mean it has to be the end for you. All it means is that you have to pivot on your strategy on how you can impact it. And that may even lead to something even greater than you had before. Um, just, just as more examples, there are a lot of people in the music industry who begin off as singers and then they decide later on to become a producer. And they do a lot more work in their producing career than they ever did in their singing career by themselves. Um, so this is going to lead us into our coaching questions for the day. What limiting beliefs do you currently have about your age? Are they preventing you from chasing after a goal or a dream that you want to obtain? Is the limiting belief based on your age valid at any part? And if it's not, why do you have it? If it does happen to be true based on your age, the question becomes, what way can you pivot in order to create a new goal or dream and have an impact in the same area that you'd like to have an impact in? Who amongst the people you lead have limiting beliefs based on their age, whether they're too old or too young? How can you show them that it's a limiting belief? In what ways can you help them set a new goal or a new dream so that they can move towards the vision in their life that they have?
Welcome back, and congratulations. You are one step closer to becoming who you were meant to be. I'm excited to hear about the fantastic takeaways you got from this episode. I'd love to hear from you, so go over to www.emergeleadership.club right now and click on the tab to see how to contact us, as well as see our other amazing services. While you're there, if you would like to emerge into who you were meant to be even faster, then you'll want to officially join our family by clicking on the Become a Patron button, where you can gain access to exclusive member-only content that is absolutely amazing, including access to supporter-only podcasts, Q&A sessions directly with me, and the ability to get shout-outs on future episodes all while also helping to support some amazing causes which are actively working toward improving the future for generations to come. Just to make sure you got it, to join our family and get access to this exclusive member-only content and help some amazing causes at the same time, go over to www.emergeleadership.club and click on the Become a Patron button right now. I'm your host, Cody Dakota, and I'm honored to have spent this time with you today. My final message for you today, and listen closely, it's time. Wake up your potential. Let go of your fears and anxieties, and let's discover what it's possible. Emerge and become who you are meant to be.